It's obvious that the stairwell was invented before the elevator. Just as great philosophers have stated, why stand when you can sit, modern-day minds are touting why climb when you can ride. Making the stories upon stories of stairwells inside skyscrapers all over the world obsolete, with one exception, the terminal tower here in Cleveland. Although this 42-floor tower does have working elevators, groups of people conjugate each year for the fight for air climb to benefit the American Lung Association. And somehow, I found myself in the thick of it. Let's light this candle. People are excited, number one, to climb the stairs, and number two, to prove that they can do it, and number three, they are raising money for the American Lung Association. Our fight is that everybody deserves clean air to breathe, so the mission here is climbing the stairs to show how worthy your lungs are and how important they are to your body. Best time I've seen this year is a, a gentleman who made it up the stairs in five minutes and 17 seconds. Please do not ask me how he did it. I came in, I think, a little too confident. I thought this would be not as hard. And at about floor three, I realized that I was sadly mistaken and that this is one of the hardest things I've ever done. But when you get to the top, it's totally worth it. I, I kind of hit a wall at about floor 10, which I wasn't sure how I was going to do, but it, uh, it ended up, you know, you just have to will yourself to, to keep going. I thought it would be a lot easier than what it was. I was, the guy said I had a good pace going into it, and that was, uh, I was going as fast as I could, but about the eighth floor, I kind of took it, uh, dropped it a gear. Too much for me. Goodbye, all. Hey, Smolex. I can't feel them. Are they still there? 